Morning, Steve, your daily shaver. This morning, Chicago. Razor Rock make some of the cheapest and they are fantastic creams. I've got to see how much they're charging. Why get a sample? Get a whole tub. Already gone to the trouble of beating it into a bit of a broth. And now, so now, how do they get the sense? How does someone go, that's Chicago? Because when you smell it, you go, hmm. Chicago. Oh, that is a all their shaving cream. Every shaving cream I've tried has been brilliant. Uh, mm. Right, so there was another one. Uh, a tea and a tea and barber have their own branded probably version of Razor Rock, four ninety nine US. Out with the slim. Got my persona blade in it still. I've given up counting. But it's still shaving. Until I notice a reason to change it. Now, I've decided that my favourite razor is this. I've got a lot of competitors for favourite razor. But, oh, yesterday's shave. Okay, let's finish that thought, but I haven't actually found anything I like better than this one. Um, the slim fits under this nose part. Excellently. Now it's only sitting on three and a half. So let's go, I'm starting to get used to it. So maybe open up the doors, find the marker and... Right, okay, goes that way. Okay. Actually it was sitting on one and a half, explains why it was. Okay, so obviously not the world's, I probably looked at it without any glasses. And as you get older too, these things will happen. The contenders for the best razor. You know, you'd be fighting it out with um, above the tie, S1 or S2. Um, their machine is stainless steel. Uh, CNC, state of the art. But these rebirthed Delta Echoes particularly in the slims. I mean, they're already, the razor's probably um, 70 odd years old. They've rebirthed it, it'll probably last me the rest of my life. Let's hope another 70 years. <laughs> Not at me. Not unless they, I go all Futurama and they um, put my head in a cryo thing. And why would they do that? Who'd want to be a talking head? I have to wonder about people who pay for all that cryo stuff, you know. Do they really think it all through? But for shame and adjustability, probably about the same price as, if I can just pause for a second. This is a modern progress. Right, it's adjustable at the bottom. It's two piece, so you loosen the bottom and the cap comes off. Now, I love this razor, right? I love it. I think it's brilliant. It's got a good amount of heft on it. But this, made of brass, um, is just brilliant. Now, yesterday's shave with the long open cone. Again, well I slept really well last night. I'm starting to finally adjust up to moving three or four time zones. So man, how do they get the smell of a city in a soap? And it smells brilliant. And you, oh, it's called Chicago, but 
I'm sure if anybody's lived in a capital city, they must cap just a smog or something and put it in, you know? Shaving cream, free smog. I'd like to see the one for the um, Beijing Olympics. Black or something, soot. That's what you could call it, soot. <laughs> oh dear, oh yeah, across the grain. These razors have been doing such a great job. I think you can put some of that down to the um, fact that this Cerakote is actually a brilliant um, coating uh, to do razors in. Now I promised you all to give you an answer to the question, can you Cerakote um, the alloys? The answer is I don't know yet because I clean forgot. I've um, been gunner meaning to, but yesterday was an eventful day. Yesterday, I was um, setting up a new iPhone, which I'm recording on. Um, I was just checking that it was recording. But having said that, got a mail email back from Core Audio. He say that our product is just state of the art and brilliant. And one of these days soon, it's gonna work. <laughs> Trust us, they say. Okay, well, you know, I've wasted several hours of my life talking to my mirror on my own because it turns out there was no, no um, video at the end. Oh dear. They say, bear with us. Well, I've already paid for the app. So bear with it, I will. Okay, right, let's have a look and see. Uh, well, I'm starting to find that I've gotten to the point where I can stay baby smooth. And I mean, including the difficult areas that grow back quick. I never worry about a bit of safe on my glasses because when I turn off the camera, well, it's actually on the inside, that's different. Uh, stupid flipping glasses. I can show you that, but then every, and then I go near the water and I've discovered it gets worse after it goes in the water. Oh dear. Age. Age shall not weary them. Oh. And here we're just aiming for beard reduction. So I will find out, but I don't think I'd waste me money. Uh, there's the other thing. Could you? Maybe. Should you? Probably not. Um, why? Well, even if you do your favourite razor, and I was thinking about doing my um, 26C in Cerakote, because that to me would seem to be a, a fun thing to play with. And when I say it out loud, I kind of agree with myself. But then again, I'm very easy to talk into things. Steve, do you think that's a good idea? Probably not. Is it something you'd like? Yeah. Are you going to do it? Probably. <laughs> uh, the thought process in my head, muddled as it is. <clears throat> but your choice for razors is an important one. And it could be some of the people that watch this have got RAD, Razor Acquisition Disorder. Well, the, well in the last 12 months, the amount of gear, I mean, it used to be you had to go and find the best of what was available from vintage gear. But now, um, companies are popping up and uh, providing refurbished vintage gear. I hate to tell you this, there hasn't been a lot of innovation. Although, Kickstarter are banging on about the laser. The laser razor, that's right. And I can't work out whether it's fake or not. I really, you know, I think the thing was launched on um, April the 1st or something, which is usually a good sign that someone's having a bit of a laugh at you. And 
you know, it could be someone out there has um, gone and worked out how you, how you can laser your face. I think despite, well, all the cheap ones are gone anyway. You know, if you only got one for, you know, a hundred bucks, um, fair enough. I think they were 89 for the initial ones. But this is to clean up just so I can keep talking for a bit longer about a laser razor. Am I missing anything? Maybe, maybe not. That's all there is to it. Does the idea of shaving with a laser, well, shaving appeals to me. A laser, awesome. Shaving plus lasers is, you know, if I can get a beautiful girl to shave me with a laser, razor, and I don't die, because I always assume that at moments like that, something bad's bad to happen. Um, so, is it real? Well, I've gone looking for anybody that's actually had one to shave with for a review. Zippo. They are all regurgitating the same Kickstarter um, blurb. You know? Uh, and surely if it was real, you know? They, I'm trying to think, he'd be crazy enough to shave with a laser. Ricky? <laughs> Ricky? Is, any, is anybody Rico's corner? You know? Why? Because he is like me, Jedi Shaver. And he will shave with things that any other person would go, I'm not risking it. So I think he'd shave with a laser. You know, um, Anthony, the stallion, would he shave with a laser? He'd probably try to use it like a straight, but yeah, he probably would. Okay, I've done me two passes, just, um, and cross passes. And to be honest, I am very pleased with the standard of shades I've been getting out of these. And if I had to pick a favorite, the slim, simply because it's adjustable, but, I did, you don't need an adjustable. Probably, if I had to pick a non-adjustable, the long open comb is just rocking it. Does it have to be adjustable? Probably not. Probably, probably someone thought it was a gimmick. It was a gimmick. It's a good gimmick. I like the gimmick of the idea that I can adjust up. Uh, so, laser razor. Well, if it's real, and it comes to market, it'll probably drop in price. You're going to go, why? And that's going to be, you know, and if it's not real, why worry about it? You're not missing, missing out on something that isn't real, isn't the big tragedy you think it is. So if someone's in on it, and they have an in, and you want to, you know, make a point on Facebook or um, when you see this, or on uh, Google+, Plus, and say, Steve, you're missing the great review. He did it. You know, someone shaved with it. I haven't seen anybody shave with one. They all talk about it and they do animations of it running over hair and hair's dropping off. You know, you can do that when you're 90. Just drop off. I'm Steve, your daily shaver. I'm just going to use a bit of witch hazel. Oh, I'm going to go do some things and um, get out to get my car going again in the garage. You'd think it's an old car, you know, a jalopy. Ah, it's not. It's just got more recalls on it than, um, I don't know, it's ever been a politician that's been recalled a lot. <laughs> I'm Steve, your daily shaver. Again, I talk to myself. Good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. Remember, while it's nice to be important, it's far more important to be nice. Go forth, shave, and spread the message. Good shaves and goodbye.